So look at these huge, whoa, these huge spikes on the front of the legs here. Look at those mandibles. Whoa! Oh. everybody welcome back to jack's world of wildlife now today i'm looking for as my net mic suggests insects more specifically probably the scariest most intimidating and just overall demonic looking insect you can find here in south texas today i'm looking for the devil giant katie did the giant devil katie did neoberetia spinosa now these are massive and I can hear them calling right now. So I'm hoping we can find some of these carnivorous predatory katydids and I'm hoping I come out of this experience unscathed because they possess quite large mandibles that could cause some slight to extreme discomfort. So join me and we shall see if we can find the giant devil katydid of South Texas. All right, so we just spotted a huge male. Hear that telltale? He's right up top. Look at him right there, big old green. Let's see if I can catch him. <laughs> Let's move him out to the clear area. Take a look at this, folks. Oh! Oh. <laughs> oh, look at the threat display. Look at that threat display. Wow, look at those wings. And those mandibles bared. Whoo! <laughs> Scary sucker. Okay, don't bite the crap out of me. <laughs> okay, yeah. Whoo, that's a scary freaking insect. That sucker could bite the snot out of you. Come take a look at those mandibles. Look at that. He's just trying to bite me. And they'll like grab onto you with those legs and just pinch you with those mandibles. Slice, they could slice right through my finger. So forget that. Look at that. Woo! Shoo wee! <laughs> He's gonna get ya. All right, let me try and scoop him back up with this net so I can try and grab him. Oh! Okay, look at that. <laughs> look at the size of this male, folks. Look how big this katydid is. This is Neoberetia spinosa, the giant devil katydid, or the Texas giant devil katydid. And you can tell he's a male, number one, because of course, how did we find him? He was calling. But number two, the lack of... The lacking of an ovipositor, which is what the females possess, which is like a long sword-like appendage that they use to deposit their eggs into a medium so that their nymphs are safe from parasitic flies and wasps, and they can emerge to then munch on other insects because these are primarily predatory. So look at these huge, whoa, these huge spikes on the front of the legs here. These are used in, in essentially hooking and grabbing and barbing prey as these gigantic mandibles munch it up. Oh my gosh, folks. Is that not the scariest looking insect you could ever possibly imagine? Now, katydids are, the, are relatives of crickets and grasshoppers and they're in the order Orthoptera. Take a look, there's that blue hind wing. Once again, as a threat display. Look how beautiful that is. Is that not crazy? This is one of the largest males, Neoberetia spinosa, I've ever seen. This thing is scary, and it could definitely break skin if it bit me. But look at that. Look at those, oh man, he's trying to get me. Look at those mandibles. Whoa! I, I'm not unnerved by many uh, insects, as you saw 
Um, you know, I'm sure you've seen my handling a giant centipede video or stinging myself with all sorts of crazy insects. Uh, but I really, really, really do not want this thing to get a hold of me because, oh my gosh, that is a scary, gnarly looking insect. And that would just, just mince my fingers. Ooh -wee. Look at that. And he's so mad. Take a look at these super long legs. Of course, they use these for jumping. And look at these huge toe pads and tarsi, these claws at the end. Oh my gosh, what a cool little animal. Now they make that call by kind of stridulating these wings and they scratch those together and that's what makes that tss, tss, tss sound that you hear all around us. Look at that. Shall I give him a kiss? Okay, I'm losing my grip. Let's see if we can find some more. How cool is this? <laughs> okay, guys, look what we just spotted. Juvenile female. You can see by the presence of that sword-like ovipositor that this is indeed a female. Look at that. Another beautiful Neoberetia spinosa. Let's see if we can get her down. <laughs> Look at that. They're so agile, so active and aware. Nice. Now these are ridiculously intimidating. This appears to be possibly a sub-adult, maybe another molt or two away from adult. Female. And she is just as voracious. Look at that. She's checking me out. Look at those beautiful red eyes. Come get a close look at that, guys. Oh my gosh. They're so scary. But they use those awesome spines all along the front legs to kind of bear hug their prey. And they barb into it and keep it from moving. And then they just slice it up and drink all of the liquid. Now they don't just feed on other insects, no. These are large enough, they can prey on geckos and lizards, frogs, possibly even small mammals. They will eat and chew through almost anything they can get their grubby, scary little hands on. Out of all the insects in Texas, I least want to be bitten by this. Let's see, if she'll be sweet, <laughs> Guys, I don't promote being afraid of insects. I'm just healthily wary of this particular animal. Okay, don't don't bite me. <laughs> she goes straight for it. Golly! I use those impressively sensitive mandibles. Where did she even go? Is she on me? She's on me. Right there, right there. <laughs> <gasps> okay. God. She, yeah, they use these mandibles to sense food. And of course, I'm made of meat. And if you're a meat eating Katie did, why not take a bite out of Jack's World of Wildlife? Okay, I flicked her off just in time. Why are you being rude? <laughs> These are so scary. It's like, like we've we've found all sorts of stuff today. We were, we were we found a rattlesnake today, and I'm like, oh, cool, a rattlesnake, yeah, and just you know regular stuff. And then one of these shows up, and I'm like, oh gosh, but they're cool. I can appreciate them. Look at that ovipositor once again. Super long, super sharp. Oh my gosh, she's gonna come right for the camera. That'd be cool if she jumped right on you. Look at that, folks. I disagree. <laughs> They're scary, aren't they? She went straight to bite me. I'd feel more comfortable with like a black widow on me. Yeah, honestly, these are intimidating insects. But look at that. Look at that face. And they're gorgeous too. Absolutely spectacular animals. 
plenty of other little katydids. Look at how beautiful this is. Oh, look at that. Red. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. That's a beautiful little katydid. This could quite possibly be a food item for our gig. What the? Uh, I had a visitor crawling on my neck, a tiny little cicada. I was like, am I just backing into a tree? No. <laughs> little cicada, look at that. Tiny little baby. Off you go. Nice. Okay, I see him, I see him actually. <laughs> I spotted him right when you said that. Yeah, he's tucked in there. Okay. Another big male, Neobredia spinosa. Ha <laughs> Oh, so many thorns. Here he comes. Really nice red eyes on this male. Get back here. I didn't say I was done with you. Should I try and handle this one? I don't know yet. I haven't decided. Because what if he's mean? Oh, yikes. Because this sucker's got some mandibles on him. No, don't jump. He's gonna come no, right no, 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 no. <laughs> wow, look at that. Cobras are one thing, but I know. think it's scary. These are terrifying insects. Look at that. Oh my gosh, a huge adult male. <laughs> <laughs> he got right on your shirt. Come here, come here. If you bite me, I will throw you. It's like bite through one of your veins. <laughs> okay, look at that. Come in close, guys, come in close. Look at this animal. He's so scary. Oh my gosh, look at him clean those mandibles. I have never really free handled these before and I gotta be honest, it's way scarier than cobras. <laughs> Just don't bite me, please. Don't bite me, please. Wow, look at that. Very hygienic. He's like, ew, sweat? Let me wash my hands real quick. How interesting are these scary katydids? Once again, carnivorous, obligate carnivores. They eat everything out here. Look at these beautiful probing antenna. Just sensing, smelling, feeling the world around them as they navigate. Now, katydids, like all orthopterans, go through incomplete metamorphosis, which is metamorphosis, um, with only three stages, which is egg, nymph, various stages of molts and of nymphs, um, and then adult. So these animals don't have a larval stage. In fact, when they hatch out of the ground, they're tiny miniature versions of the adults. And then as subadults and adults, they start to get those wings that they use for calling. Just do not bite me, I swear. Ow! Ouch! Do not bite me! I told you not to! You specifically, you disobeyed me! They're so scary. He gets to like the end of my finger and he's like, oh, I'm supposed to bite this? No, you're not supposed to bite me. I don't like being close to it. I know they're scary, <laughs> aren't they? But they're wicked cool. Some of our coolest orthopterans 
in the United States, in my opinion, some of the coolest orthopterans in the world. But they, uh, uh, no, they are not. They are not uh, to be trifled with, that's for sure. They are some scary, 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 scary insects. Wow, that is awesome. Well, we'll let him get on his way. And I think we've got what we need for the episode. All right, don't bite me, don't bite me, don't bite me, don't bite me. No, no, okay, whew. Let's take a look at that, folks, look at that. Wow. Whoa, what a cool, cool insect. Oh man, I am just scared of those. But thank you so much for watching, folks. I hope you enjoyed this spectacularly terrifying video about the giant devil Katie did, uh, Neobredia spinosa. I hope that you enjoyed seeing me get bitten quite a few times. Uh, not severely, of course, because I have reflexes like a puma, but um, the, the kind of little nothings of a kiss um, that we received from these interesting little Katie dids. But thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you get all the alerts when there are new videos upcoming or coming out. Buy the new merchandise because it's dope. And um, continue to love and support me, Jack's World of Wildlife. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the scary, scary little Katie dids as much as I have. Be sure to tune in next time, and thank you so much for watching today.